Okay then, so we're going to pick up from the Church of Ella. Whilst you're here, you should speak to Calais here because he's going to give us... Uh, no, 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 go back to his talk. And he, we can talk to him about the Howling Wolf uh, in Mistwood, which was near the uh, the Fort Height that we were at earlier. And he'll give us an emote that we need to use to bring the wolf down. This is useful for a boss that is in this zone, and so we're definitely going to be doing that. Also note that this is one of the few merchants that is out in the world that I say don't kill because we can sell stuff to him and when you want to actually get yourself a few extra runes for whatever reason it's going to be useful to have. Um, you can kill him and you can get his bell bearings so you can have all of this purchasable in the round table hold if you want um, but just because this guy is easily memorable I recommend keeping him around. From here then we're going to head basically north we've already been along this road um, it's up to you guys if you want to get some extra kills I wouldn't blame you if you do. Um, getting a few extra runes is always useful. But we're just going to kind of hug this cliff that is on our left here. Oh, we kind of got it spoiled for us there. The cave was going to be there. It's just not have anybody following me in. I haven't upgraded my rapier. I should have done that, really. But we don't really need to for this. We're just going to make our way forward into here. Roofside cave. Just going to tag this. I don't need to rest. We didn't take any damage. Oh, I forgot to get a thing. We need a thousand runes anyway. Once we've got a thousand runes, we need to get a um, very nice item that's going to light these tunnels up. This one isn't too bad. So we're probably going to get it straight after this, to be honest. Um, so let's actually get some glintstone arc on here, because there's a big, pretty large group of wolves in here. And we don't want to be uh, getting mobbed, because that's just going to be real bad for us if we do. Although, that really didn't work out too well for me, did it? That's you. Oh, wow, these are taking damage like chumps in here today. That's way more damage than I was expecting to be doing. Any more? Yeah, there is one more. You just don't want to aggro on me, what? I'm, uh, I'm going to take that if, you, uh, if you're all going to be cooperative. I'm going to reach. You'll find that a mage is kind of a medium range build. A lot of people kind of call it a range build, but I really don't think it is in the truest sense of the word. Um, don't forget to get the cracked pot there. That is um, a pretty key item. Um, it's more of a medium range build, and a lot of the time when you kind of looking across like a an expanse or something and you think oh probably not going to reach that it's usually true there are some spells that have longer range than others but a lot of the time your spells just don't have like amazing reach so just bear that in mind come over this way we'll have a boss this is going to be the misbegotten warrior isn't it i feel like the set of wolves though kind of makes it um not necessarily obvious but almost suggests you should bring wolves in here i'm going to go ahead bring them out pop some FP in a minute. Here we are. They're going to attract some attention. And they're pretty much able to kill him on their own. Look at that. That's real cool. We don't even need to do anything at this point. We're done. We are done. <laughs> you can do some good damage, so be careful. I better not let him get close, he probably will one-shot me. <laughs> I made myself so fragile. <laughs> it's funny, I love it. This has this is so far kind of fun though. Uh, so that's Flame Drake Talisman, don't really care about that. I should probably talk about Talismans. Right now we only have one slot, we will end up with four. Um, when we beat the first boss of Stormbell we'll get one. When we get another boss beat we'll get a second one and then the last one is in Lanedale. Uh, we really don't have any that are particularly good for me. I'm not going to stand there and charge an attack. Um, we're not going to be taking much fire damage, and this is all physical stuff, and I banned myself from using anything that gives me extra strength or dex, so we are unable to use that. I just need something. <laughs> I need, like, a really light hat. Um, so here's a bit of a tutorial thing here, then. So when you get to the end of dungeon, you'll often get one of these. Just bear in mind, this does not reset your flask's health or anything like this, so you will... Often, if you have used um, a lot of your resources, need to rest. Especially as it does, in fact, reset enemies, which I feel like is a little bit naughty, in my opinion. I'm going to backstab this guy again there. Come here, you. Just in case you aggro on me. One of the best things about the rapier is it does good backstab damage. If we can sneak up on enemies, we can do good damage with it. So from here, then, we kind of want to follow this around this way now, until we can get to the catacomb. Um, again, another tutorial point here, there are often, um, I guess you call them signposts in the world. This is one of them, so if you interact with one of these, it'll make like a line and point to a catacomb. 
Um, a catacomb is a specific type of dungeon that'll have um, different types of item and loot in there. This one should have some glove wart, so if you want to upgrade your wolf summon after this one, you can do. For now, I'm going to tag the grace in here, and then I'm going to get you guys um, a lantern because we need to have one. Lantern, 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 lantern. Although we don't, we don't, I suppose we don't really need it for this dungeon. We're going to need it for the next one, though. Mm. How am I going to disarm the ambush? So whenever you see an enemy that is obvious, there's always a reason. It's always that reason. Well, now we really cannot tangle with this in close combat. Um, because, generally speaking, the best way to take them on is to do a guard counter, which is, I don't have a shield, but basically you want to hold your block button and then press R2 after they've hit you. And that'll put them into a, um, that'll, that'll stun them, basically, and allow you to uh, take them on. I didn't even rest the grace, and we're low on FP. That's going to be, uh, that's going to be bad, isn't it? I need to use up my seeds as well. All right, let's check my... Task allocation here. That's pretty good, actually. Okay, let's continue on with the dungeon. It's been a while since I've been in here, so hopefully I remember everything. Locked door. Grave Lafort. So we can literally improve our walls right now, if we wanted to. For now, though, we are all good. See you down. I've got that one there. Come on. I know you want to throw daggers at me. That's not what I want, though. Now, if you have if you don't have a ranged option, as I said earlier, you kind of need to make sure you have a good mixture of options, but we haven't come across, like, the short bow or anything yet. Um, if you just run into here, they will they will follow you under, and then you'll be able to take them on. Second grade glyphor. So if you wanted to upgrade, say, the jellyfish, which is also quite a good, and I've just realised we don't actually have a bow. That's not going to reach, is it? Oh, this is noy. Okay, so ordinarily you should have a bow before you come in here. I've done this slightly in a bad order. Um, we're going to rectify a lot of this very shortly. Can I shoot you with a magic bolt? Not quick enough, I can't. So if you can hit these from range, um, these will go down. So you can turn these off, like so. Then you'll be all good. I don't think there's anything up here. These often have like a... Uh, can often have like a bit above them where if you jump on them and then hit them again they'll take you to a new place. I need to wait till that's a new thing. So we've got a few things I need to fix either by the end of this episode or at the beginning of the next one. Quite clearly. I don't want to run into that. So the spells do work on it. That's good to know. Never run into these ever. It's always a trap, by the way. <laughs> they never give you anything for free in these games. Ah! Oh. Look at how many there are. Oh, there's one left. No. That's bad. Could be real bad. No, nope, we did it. We're fine. So many. So very many. Yeah, up the uh, up the ladder we go. Careful here. So we're going to go ahead. For, we're going to go forward first. Um, this is the, actually the way we need to get to to get to the switch, which will open the boss door. I suppose I didn't really speak enough about that in terms of the mechanic of the way these areas work. Obviously, we had the big bluey green looking door. I guess you call it like jade, maybe like a jade color. Um, and that is where the boss of this place is going to be. I think it's the first burial watchdog. That's going to be a pain in the ass. 
Wandering Noble Ashes. They might even be better than the wolves for that boss. But no, no, they won't. They'll be more fragile. The wolves are a really good mix of having a nice amount of bodies and um, individually not too not too weak. Um, quite a lot of the um, hoardy ones can be a bit difficult to use, in my opinion. There we are. That's just through this dungeon now. I don't think we've got any ghost glove one in here, which is realistically the one that we kind of want to make sure we get it. Oh no, we did get a ghost one. So a ghost one, that upgrades a special uh, type of su summon. And in particular, those are going to be particularly good for us as a caster, so we definitely want to be keeping hold of those. We're going to take a quick rest at the grace, and then we're going to deal with the boss. We should really level. We should really level. Level up. It's annoying that I need to have endurance, but I really want to fill every every armor slot. Maybe that allows me to have a hat on now. Yay! <laughs> Yay, I just need hat now. That's all I, I just need legs now, and then we're good for stamina probably for a while. Uh, this will probably save me more often than I realise. Um, so now we go to what I think is the first burial watchdog thing, and I hate these. I cannot at all wrap my head around their moveset. Um, so we're just going to rely on being able to uh, take it on from range and have the dogs distract it. But that big plunge it does is like mega ridiculous. Look at, the Look at the damage it does. Oh my god. Like the dogs did like nothing. Luckily though, the longer roll did seem to help there. That's it. All down. <laughs> It's just obscene, like, especially this time in the game as well. It's not done its big thingy yet. It can like get up on its hind legs and do like a swipe at you. Yeah, that, extra, that little bit of extra range on the roll. Can't usually avoid that as easily. Uh, there we go, hind legs attack. You don't have like a, a range on that, do you, sir? But there we go. Managed it quite nicely. There we have Noble Sorcerer Ashes. Probably not too bad as a support thing for melee characters. So let's do two things right now. It's a bit of a sequence break, but we definitely need to get a lantern and we definitely need to um, get a bow. So we've got to get that done. Or at least I need to show you guys where a bow is. I'm probably not going to buy it. Oh no, I do need to buy it because I do need to be able to get the things inside. Um, here is probably our first source of um, feathers. So make better arrows to uh, to fire with. This is kind of like the most, um, what's the word, kind of resource intensive part of the game where we're having to use a lot of the runes and stuff that we're getting to unlock new avenues and abilities for ourselves but once we've kind of got everything together it will be worth it so we're gonna head on down head on down you can fight the troll if you want to not to bother about the troll that there is an ash of war but i can't remember what it's called could go and get it there's no reason not to get it you'll have to hit it once as well we have uh, glintstone arc so it shouldn't be too bad i always find it's best to um, get along where it goes straight so you can see like it was going pretty straight across this way um because it's not gonna let you lock onto it but we can um face where it's going to come from and once it turns around this corner here we'll let off the uh, the glintstone arc and there we go nice and easy you can do that with pretty much anything you can do it with the bow as well if you want to as long as you're aiming in the right place um, works out kind of nice. I didn't really realize we could summon here for these. It's an interesting thought. Always keep an eye on these. Sanctuary stones can be useful. Um, I'll try and identify why when we get the recipe. It's, it's kind of a little bit later, but we can create um, warming stones with sanctuary stones, which give you kind of like a heal over time. They're really good if you're doing carp and you just need like a heal that doesn't take up any flasks. Uh, feel free to take these on if you want to. These are going to be worth a few runes to you. 
I'm just going to pass on by for now. This is a cave that we want. Um, and we're going to tag the grace, but we're not going to actually do the cave right now because we're going to want the lantern for this. But what we're going to come down here for actually is the short bow. There's Bok. That's the guy we spoke to that was the bush earlier. Excuse me. Can you not? We're going to leave him for now. We're going to come back here in a bit. In just a little bit. We probably do need to sort his quest line out before we go too far, actually, because he can die in here. I can't believe you followed me this far. Go away. Cool. It's going on down to the left. We're going to go ahead and see Mr. Dude here. Um, you can kill him now. You can kill him later. It's up to you. Um, so you can see he, he sells the short bow, which is probably the only bow I could use. 8 and 12 is not too bad. Uh, 8 and 10, should I say, not too bad. And it has shortish range. Oh, dear. <laughs> we can make fire stuff out of you as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buy that because I need it. And we're going to need to have some arrows of some description, but probably going to make my own. So, so with that done, um, I'm going to recommend you do this. Yep, we know. Just be aware that he will try to flee eventually. We don't want him to do that, though. Nope. No fleeing. No, no, no. No fleeing. That's oh, just more of mounted fighting, is it? It's kind of funny. Uh, note that some of the later ones of these can be more dangerous. Oh, come on. This guy. Not too bad. And now we'll be able to get all of his stuff from the, um, from the Reinhold, uh, yeah, Reinhold Hold, which is just more convenient, basically. So next up then, we're going to go back to Lake Flaking Cliffs, where we're actually going to see another one. <laughs> um, we're going on a bit of a rampage today. Luckily, word doesn't get around about just how murderous we are. Sorry, I've left, left this low screen. I've been trying to take these out. Uh, so from here, we're going to mount our back up. And we're just going to follow the road. We're not going to clear everything else out yet. Um, there is Thop just on the left-hand side. He can sell some spells, but I don't think there's anything there that we don't already have. There is, however, whilst we're here... Whilst we are here... Academy Scroll. So that's one scroll that we can have. That's going to unlock a few un unlock a few extra spells for us if we give that to Selen. And there's one other one that's quite easy to get as well. There are three of those that I know of in the game at the moment, as far as I'm aware, that I can remember. Um, and two of them are really easy to get. The last one's in Ray Lucario Academy, which is that big thing over there. So that's going to be a while away for now. Oh, yeah, we've got enough for the... I've got enough for the lantern. Lantern requires 1,000 runes to buy. One thousand runes to you, sir. Let's collect your butterflies. Yep, 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 yep. Purchase. And there's... Oh, it's 1,800. I was a little bit off. I need 50. Right, one second. Okay, just killed myself a knight up the road so I could have the runes for this. 1,800 runes to you, sir. I probably could have gotten by killing him and then getting it from the... Uh, from the... Um, Run to ball. There we go. Bam. Right, so now we're going to deal with this guy. Uh, and we're going to put that on. I suppose we, uh, do I like to put it? Do I like to put it? It doesn't need a quick slot, so we'll just do that. So basically now, if you come into your menu, you put that on, and now we can, we can see. Unfortunately, though, this guy needs to have the same fate as the last one, so that's going to happen now. Get that crit. Whoa! No! I just got iframes when he gets on his donkey. That's real annoying. <laughs> I've never let him get on the donkey before, and I wish I hadn't now.
<laughs> this one's a little harder. We're going to try and use the rune arc because it should have a better hit angle. Come on. <laughs> Get off the donkey, damn it. This is actually mega annoying. Right, be bear with me. Okay, so. As it turns out, he has like no poise, so we can just cheese him to death with the old rapier here, which is what I should have done in the first place, but I was trying to avoid. I was trying to avoid him running around. So, um, I had to reset him. So basically, if you need to reset him, you can reset him with the grace. It's really not difficult. From that point, you can uh, sneak along this side. So just kind of sneak. Come on in. Give him a backstab. And then just keep him pinned down with the with the rapier. And then we're all good. We got him done. Uh, we're on 20 minutes now. So that means we'll end this episode. And the next one we'll pick up in the... Uh, where are we? Coastal cave. So I'll see you guys soon for that.